It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Minnesota Vikings coming up next. U.S. Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Under center for the Vikings, out comes the former Michigan State Spartan and longtime veteran Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field and when they get open, he delivers. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On first and ten, Cousins to Jefferson on the slam. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick their first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 18 yards the game for number 18. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Throwing. Cousins. Throw left side taken in by Jefferson. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he takes it down to the 20-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Continue. 
From the red zone now, Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings! Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start. And there on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal. And it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. First and ten, here's Levis. He'll complete this one, you Conquo. Yeah, a good job to get him to the ground quickly right there at the 36-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. They work now on second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down, they go again with Henry. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. Levis to throw on first and ten here. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 here's Levis throw right side going to be taken in by Henry and that play went nowhere losing yardage it'll be back at the 36 
They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Levis in trouble. Down he goes. Down Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings offense back on the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Meanwhile, Cousins and a throw here. Caught by Addison. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Cousins again. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Cousins to throw it. Open man, he's got him to tight end Hawkinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 26. 23 yards to pick up there. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players and somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Cousins on first down. Throw left side, and Osborne has it. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Here's a second and five. They'll throw again. Cousins. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 19 yards on the pickup there. And now they'll have it first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Let's 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Joseph is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy by the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. Touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in Minnesota with the Vikings on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for the veteran quarterback, Kirk Cousins. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll run it again with Henry. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first down, Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Daniil Hunter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. On second down, here's Henry. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Levis on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, down at the 31. Levis now off of play action. And brought in downfield by Burks. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The end result, 21 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, Maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Vikings ready to go again on offense. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Off the play fake, Cousins. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. 
They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. He lets one go deep for Addison. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. Second and 10. To throw is Cousins. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And here's Ryan right now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So Levis and the Titans now down 10-7, a minute 50 to play. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Levis. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Got his man, a Conquo. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. Levis to throw. This one downfield to Burks. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. This is first and 10. Here's Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's second down. Back to throw, Levis. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 20-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Levis. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost them. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Ball resting on the 20. This is second and 10. Henry up the middle. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So here's Nick Folk in an important spot. This to potentially send us to overtime. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to tie things up in the final minute. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Oh, that's what me. an effort. Pass midfield, look out. Kenne Nwongu. And he's going to take it all the way into the end zone. What a return. And they've taken the lead. Absolute bedlam. You can forget all time what a finish and this crowd in a frenzy as well they should be that's the type of ending that you actually pay money to see and when it turns out in your direction oh yeah you feel real good about that one let's face it there are a few people who travel to see their team they're not happy but overall this crowd is loving what they just saw well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the 